Winfield skipped the minor leagues and joined the Padres immediately. As an athlete, he was in high demand by everyone, having been drafted by all three major sports. His statistics are impressive, up among the league leaders in a large number of offensive categories. How about those stats, Dave? 21 home runs, 70 RBIs. I just feel very good. I've matured as a ball player. I'm glad people are recognizing it, and I feel good within myself. I'm becoming the ball player I wanted to be. As good as Dave is now, there's no telling just how good a ball player he may become. Dave could be the best all-around athlete in the game today. Yes, yeah, several years ago, Dave was drafted by professional baseball, basketball, and football teams. But happily, he chose the Padres and baseball. Top of the sixth, Mark Fear, California's rookie reliever, gets one out before facing San Diego's big Dave Winfield, who has blossomed into a superstar. And the leader of these players is Dave Winfield. By any standard, 1979 was a sensational year for Captain Dave. He hit 308 with 34 homers, 97 runs scored, a league leading 118 RBIs, which included 16 game winners. Dave Winfield set the Padre pace. Winfield also participated in his third consecutive All-Star game, receiving over three million votes, more than any National League outfielder. That All-Star support was quite a show of strength from Winfield fans all across the country, even fans of other teams. I think Dave Winfield's, you know, a pretty good ball player. You know, I like Dave Winfield more than I like the whole Mets team. In right field, Dave won the 1979 Gold Glove, repeatedly turning what looked like extra base hits into long outs. Dave Winfield does a great job for San Diego, both on and off the field. And he's still the one in the hearts of the Padre fans. From the host, off the field as well as on. Winfield is trying to the tears. The stadium erupts. The National League now seems to be moving in the right direction. 